Good evening everybody, I am Captain Spinifex and this is Hacknet. I have been looking forward to this game for a very, very long time, as I've been following this game for a very, very long time. Uh, this is an indie hacking game that comes out tomorrow. This comes out August 12th in the United States and everywhere else. And get it, you have to get it on Steam. I have, I've been lucky enough, because I have a few connections, to get a hold of an early access copy. So because of this, I'm able to get... I'm able to give it a proper go. I have played a couple of versions of the beaters, not all the way through, so I do have an advantage here, but I haven't seen this build. And it's I haven't even seen this username screen. This is all brand new to me. What should my username be? I, I can't imagine what. Captain Spinifex. Enter to confirm. Let's get this on. Hacknet Kernel, version 1. This reminds me very much of the uh, of the uh, loading screen you get in a Macintosh if you see the uh, if you see the uh, debug lines. We can have some music. Fourteen day timer expired. Initializing failsafe. Hi. This is strange, stranger than I expected. I guess I'm supposed to write this in past tense, though I hardly feel like admitting it's over. My name is Bit, and if you're reading this, I'm already dead. Oh, I love this sort of thing. This game is wonderfully unique. We haven't seen anything the likes of this since Uplink, if you remember that. A very, very old game that is nowhere near as good as this one. Initializing, loading modules, loading nodes, reticulating splines complete. Tutorial. As of right now, you are at risk. Learn as quickly as possible. Begin the tutorial sequence by pressing the button below. Boom! Connect to a computer by typing connect IP or by clicking on a node. I'm going to connect to Captain Spinifex PC. Oh, that's probably my real IP address, but I'm not sure about that. Good work. The first thing you, uh, the first thing to do on any system is to scan it for adjacent nodes. Let's reveal more computers on your map that you can use. So let's hit scan. Let's scan. Apparently, I'm the administrator of my own computer. This is a good thing to note. We found a computer. This, that should that should be all you need from your own server from now. Disconnect from your machine. Boom. It's time for you to connect to an outside computer. Be aware that attempting to compromise the security of another computer is illegal. Proceed at your own risk and connect to an outside machine. Know that it's illegal, but do it. <laughs> all right, blue node. Let's go. Banished Stallion software. I like it. Banished Stallion. Oh, to pick that up. This VM's terminal module has been activated. Command can be run by typing it out. As I said. I may know a few things here. First thing we want to do is probe. We want to probe. Whoops, sorry. Tap. Whoop. Here you can see, yes, okay, so this tells us the open ports that are required to be cracked. As I said, I have a little bit of experience, so this is slightly easier. If, uh, if there are no open, if it requires no open ports to crack, port hack. Port hack. Boom. Congratulations. You have taken control of the external system, and you are now its administrator. I am its administrator. Wonderful. You start by scanning. Boom. No results. Not a problem. Investigate the file system of banished stallion software. All right, let's have a look inside but bin. If you want to look at the tutorials, you may have to pause this because I'm going to roll through this fairly quickly. To view the contents of the current folder, you in, hit ls. Boom. Interestingly, in the folder, it says is config.txt. I see it. Let's have a look. Totally useless. Colors enabled, peach, ivory, fudge, chocolate, and magenta. Behaviors enabled, twirl, thrust, and helicopter. Mmm. Documents and settings, not porn, slash documents, slash serious documents. <laughs> Lovely. That's all right. That's all right. Let's clear up your tracks before we leave. Let's go up a directory. Let's head into the log by going CD log. And let's delete our traces. Oh, watch them all go away. It's almost like we were never there. Although there will still be the disconnect log. Congratulations, you have completed the guided section of this tutorial. Who's the best? Who's the best? Something everyone needs to recognize here is these are real Linux, real Linux and Unix commands. If you type ls on a Linux or a Unix machine, you will get a listing of directories and files and folders in, in, the, in your current location. Right. Hint. The command ps. To finish it, you must locate the process ID of this tutorial at program and kill it. Well. ps gives us a list of, of, of processes. We have here tutorial version 16.2 with PID 49. Next, you want to kill it. 
I don't know the command for kill, although I suspect it's kill. Kill, PID, kills process number. So we want to do kill 49. Boom. <gasps> I have an email. I have an email. First contact by bit. We find out something about him. Hi. I don't know you, and I'm sad to say that I never will, but if you're reading this at my menu, you're the only person who can make things right. Right now, I'm trapped. There's no way out and not enough time, and I need your help. If there's something you need to take care of first, the faster the better. Hacknet OS wasn't meant to be released as it is now. After a while, the automated tracker will activate itself. We can't let that happen. Connect to your own node. It should be green on your net map. Then find and delete securitytracer.exe. When you're done, simply reply. Boom. Alrighty. Let's go in here. Let's view our file system. Let's go into our... Bin, and let's remove security tracer. You can press tab to auto complete. It is beautiful. That is a real thing in Linux and Unix as well. All right, next we need to reply to the email. Bit, reply, send. Excellent, we're getting through this. These are some of the parts that I have done once or twice before, although they were slightly different. Getting some tools together, great. If you want to read these properly, you might want to pause because I can move a bit quicker. Uh, that should be safe now. Before we uh, start, we're going to need a few things. All right, we need to we need to hack into a computer by the name of Viper. For the most part, ignore the generic file stuff that gets logged. Blah blah blah. Download any files you can use using the thing SCP. So I'm going to plus click the plus on here to grab Viper's computer. Viper Battle Station, and a note if I want to be told how to do things. But I'm too cool for school. So let's get in here. Oh, first we have to hack in. We can't view the pro view the thing. Port open ports required for crack? Zero. Port hack time. Viper. Viper. You didn't need any ports open required to be cracked. You are not very good. He's a bit of a script kitty. Let's view the file system. Let's check in here. And let's grab ourselves sshcrack.exe. Let's also have a look in his home directory. Oh, what's this? Notes. Finally managed to torrent that sweet hacksaw program. Mm-hmm. What about YouTubers.txt? Oh, that's right! YouTubers to check out! Captain Spinifex, right there. That's what we need to check out. Alright, also shout out to Callum Games and John Crow. Alright. Next, induction test, proxy server. Need something about overloading it, maybe? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dad, sorry I haven't emailed you in a while. I've been really busy with school. Year 11 is hard, so he's a, he's a kitty, but I think I'm doing okay. I need some new software for a school project. Can you send me $2,000? Oh, oh, Viper, Viper, you're terrible. Work, what do we got here? Um, uh, fun stuff, cool. All right, we'd better get back to Viper. He's already dead, so he's probably already a bit late. Let's reply, boom. Maiden flight, congratulations. I honestly have no way of knowing if you succeeded in this responder, but if you're seeing this, it means you've at least found something. I'm gonna assume it's something really useful. You should try, actually, I wonder if I sent that email without actually picking up SSH crack, if it would work, I bet it wouldn't. You should try breaking one of my old test servers. If Viper had this sort of thing, he's known for getting lying around, you should have everything you need to get in. Remember any non-basic programs? Yes, yes, yes. So let's, let's try and hack into Bitwise test PC with the number I can't quite read. Okay, let's probe. Well, we're, we're gonna hack. We're gonna hack all the things. Open ports required for crack one. So what you're saying is port hack doesn't work? No, open additional ports. Oh, I, I can't possibly imagine what program I need to run. Is it SSH crack to crack the port on on, on port 22? It seems simple. It's only because I've done it before. All right, now we can now we can probably port hack our way to victory. Turtle, Muffin, Cat, Mustang, Bear, I have a phone. I love boats. <laughs> I love it. I love boats. All right. All right. All right. Let's have a look in here. Log, became admin, open port. Oh, crap. I never deleted my logs on Viper's machine. I should probably go do that. Lexserver.sys? Let's grab that. Yeah, cool. Moved it automatically to sys, so I've got an extra couple of things. Wait. What was I actually supposed to do? This is this is the this is the terrible thing. Uh, blah, 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 breaking into it. Oh, just break into it. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do is go back to Viper's machine and RM the logs, so that we so the Viper, the little Year 11 script kitty we should all be terrified of, doesn't find out that I was there, apart from my disconnect log. And let's do the same here. Probably not necessary, but we may as well get into the habit of covering our tracks and let's reply 
Boom. Something in return. Nice work. Here's where it's going to start getting harder. I need to ask a favor. I've been a little sloppy lately, which is what got in into this whole mess. So I'm writing this in the first place, I guess. Anyway, the point is there's some logs on a few computers. I'd prefer wasn't there. Mmm. Let's go into P. P. Anderson. P. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Let us enter your system. Neo. 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 You haven't. You haven't exactly secured your computer very well for a seasoned computer hacker that you were supposed to be. Neo from the Matrix, you haven't secured this very well at all. And he wants logs deleted. But first, I think I'm going to have a bit of a snoop around and see if there's anything interesting in here. Documents. Laptop police report. Police number claim number. Hmm. Chat log. <laughs> uh, tax return. Yeah. yeah, okay. Work. Laptop was stolen at convention. Contain the dossier reports. Had copied the most one. <laughs> Laptop stolen at convention. Uh, alrighty. He doesn't seem to have anything particularly interesting. So let's just blast his logs. We, I should get back into the habit of scanning for stuff. Access file valence dossier. Mm. Uh, right. Uh, first let's scan. Uh, no, okay. Can I scan for you? Ah! Entropy asset cache. I will, but I'm just gonna go around and scan at the other things. Oh, I don't have administrator access on Jmail, of course I don't. Alright, let's connect to entropy asset cache. Firewall! I don't know how to do firewalls yet. So I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Let's clear Viper. Let's... Ugh. Damn it! Let's... Username. Ugh. Oh, doesn't matter. View file system. Log. Okay, let's get out of here and let's reply to the email. Request details. Delete all of the of the target's log files. Boom. Done. Bit. 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 You have contacted your most experienced hacker. Where to from here? Alright, if you see this, well somebody's done well and well, this all might actually be worth something. Is that too much to hope for? It seems like a lot to hope for. I realize that I don't have time to write this whole thing. There's way too much to learn. I don't have time to do any of it. So I'm gonna need to ask something more. There's a group that goes by Entropy that's currently accepting members. They'll be able to teach you more. When you're ready, I'll contact you again. As for getting into Entropy, you'll need to bypass the proxy server, a few shells, open the command. I've been using the command shell. Running on computers, you've already got admin access on, should be able to overload it. Good luck and thank you. I almost forgot. If you run into trouble, I've linked the network education archive server too. It's got a lot of useful information on it. Boop and boop. Okay, so what I need to do is get into entropy, run shells, and then overload the target proxy. Alrighty. So, here's the entropy test server. Here's edunet, tells me a few things. So, I already have administrator access on here. I already have administrator access on Mr. Anderson and on Viper. Now I've got a couple of things. Now let's go over to our entropy test server and probe. I wonder, does it have a proxy? Yeah, let's let's overload that proxy. Whoosh! Also, let's SSH crack, because that's our only program. And hopefully, we can get... Does, if I cancel these, does it cancel the bypass? No. So I can open those immediately. Port hack time. God, I love that animation. Isn't it beautiful? The most brilliant thing about this game is it makes you actually feel like a hacker, and you're using real commands and real things. Oh, why did I probe it? I've already, I'm already in. I'm already in. Go back. View file system. Boom. Entropy induction test. Congratulations. Download this file to complete your induction test. Okay. SCP entropy induction test. Boom. We have saved all the things. No one ever remembers to clear out the bin folder too. As this is a test server scrubs, it's designed for people to break in. At least ties you up. <laughs> yep. Brilliant. I'm going to delete my logs just to show entropy that I have clean hands, and I know how all this stuff works. Something like that I should probably scan as well. Alright. Confirmation mission. Greetings, Captain Spinifex. Let me be the first to congratulate you on locating and passing the Entropy Group Entrance Exam. While to an experienced hacker it's a relatively trivial task, surprisingly few seem to actually manage it. 
before you'll be able to uh, allow you to officially join the group, we must further confirm your abilities. A tabloid news server has recently taken a negative stance towards entropy. I can't imagine why. And we'd like to temporarily disable their operation. As a second test of your skill, we ask you to bring down this service message board. If you can, leave the non-entropy related articles and the rest of the server intact. Alright, don't be a dick. Got it. Just clear the things that are negative towards entropy. Slashbot News Network. Ooh, entropy group engaged in malicious hacking. Oh no. New Microsoft phone. About as bad as you expected. <laughs> waterfall phone. <laughs> After the waterfall model. Uh, yep. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Suspicions rise over entropy. Wait. Friend hole. Hacking group apparently bent on opposing all forms of social media. Face Spaces CEO. Hmm. Is that against... Is that against entropy or not? Anyway, doesn't matter. We need to probe this machine to find out how to get into it. Alright, proxy detected. I should have left some of my shells open. Not on Jmail. Let's not run it on my home machine. Because that might be bad. Let's, uh... Let's probe... Let's probe it again. Let's overload this biatch. Let's open a cra uh, a thing. Oh, I see you actually have to wait until that's done. And let's get a port hack going. I'm gonna leave those shells open in case I need I need them there. I'm gonna reach a point where about half an hour in where uh, it's all new to me. This is partly new to me. But it's incredibly exciting. God, you gotta love that music. Okay, password found. Alright, alright. Let's get in here. Let's have a look around. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Message board, listings, entropy group, engaged in malicious hacking. Let's delete that one. Uh, and let's, uh, let's, let's remove suspicions arise over entropy. Closed config, config caution. Critical system file. Do, deleting it will crash the board. I don't want to crash the board. I'm not going to be needlessly. New opal dongle patient will tantal, patent will tantalize. <laughs> <laughs> Oppel dongle. That's a pretty hard word to say. Alrighty. Uh, I'm also going to grab their X server. Good stuff. Uh, and let's get, let's delete, uh, just delete all traces of our existence and get out of here. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. We are nearing the end of this part, but just a little bit longer. Okay. Let's bum out to my mail. Wait, I didn't do a scan. Scan. Aw. Oh. Okay. Confirmation mission. Let's do that. Reply. Boom. Mission incomplete. What did I do? What did I do? What? We need... Leave the non-entropy related articles. So maybe I was supposed to delete Is Your Data at Risk. I think I was supposed to delete Is Your Data at Risk. I suppose. Let's delete that one. And let's remove everything in log. And let's bounce back and try now. Mission incomplete! What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Hmm. Tabloid newspaper has recently taken a negative stance. We'd like to temporarily disable. Ask you to bring down this server's message board. Oh, I was meant to bring down the board. I was meant to bring down the board. Okay. Alright. Alright. Config.sys. Ah, rmconfig.sys. That ought to kill it. That crashed the board? Did it? Yes! We crashed the board and we have been entered into Entropy. And if you want to find out what Entropy is going to welcome me with in this first gameplay video, you're going to have to see the second gameplay video of this amazing, amazing hacking game. I got an achievement, I didn't even see what it was! I'm going to have to look that up afterwards because I wasn't too busy talking to you lovely people out there in the world. Thank you so much for watching this first episode of Hacknet. I will be playing this game the whole way through because this is something I've been looking forward to for a very long time. A proper hacking game that's actually really good fun. Uh, check it out. It re gets released on August 12th, which is tomorrow. So get on that on Steam. Thank you to Matt. 
I'll see you guys next time. See you later.